Hello, this is a sneak peek of a new functionality which will be added into the next version of Cut Plus toolset. This feature will allow to batch export flat patterns from SOLIDWORKS assembly or power document. This includes sheet metal bodies, weldments, flat bodies like a plates or any other solid body. Both single body and multi body parts are supported. This assembly document consists of several parts, most of them are sheet metal parts. There are some sheet metal parts which are used, so basically there are multiple quantities of the same component. So let me just show the custom properties available in this assembly via properties plus. So there is a part number custom property in all files. And if you also go to check the cut list, we will see the standard cut list custom properties for sheet metal. And in particular, the one which we're going to be using is a sheet metal thickness. So for example, I can just scroll here and just find the sheet metal property. This is an automatic property, so it is added to all sheet metals, and I'm going to use this information to automate my exports. We can run export flat patterns command directly from a toolbar or command type box or menu. So here we have a user interface, and the first uh, box we need to select what a filter of our components. So we can use some predefined filters, or we can even select the components or bodies directly from the graphics area. So in my demo, I'm just going to use sheet metal, but you can also use weldments, flat bodies, or solid bodies. So let me select sheet metal. So next, I can specify the output folder, or I can leave it empty. So in this case, the files will be output next to the input assembly. In the next box, I need to specify the template for naming of my files, and I can use the placeholder variables to build a dynamic name. So let me clear this box and create a new naming template. I can use a combination of free text and variables. So let me first create a subfolder called DWGs, and then I can select one of the available variables to build my dynamic name. I can use different variables such as file name, custom property from a model, cut list custom property, quantity of the component and body in the assembly, configuration or cut list name. Let me start by adding a custom property for part number. So I just need to specify the name of past custom property I want to pull data from. So it's a part number. Then I can use the free text for X and quantity. So in this case, my file name will consist of part number X quantity dot DWG. I can also use a slash to indicate subfolders. So let me also output my files into the subfolder with the thickness of sheet metal custom property. I can do this very simply by just selecting cut list custom property variable and specify the custom property name, which is sheet metal thickness in my case. I can add backslash to indicate that this is going to be my subfolder. Let's continue and here I can select options what I want to output, such as geometry only, band lines or band nodes. And I can also additionally add a custom node into my output DXF or DWG file. So in a very similar way, I can specify the value of the node text and I can use a very similar template. So in this case, I'm just going to use a part number custom property. So I just copy this from my previous template or I can just build it from the beginning. I can select options of how I want to orient my node and also if I want a custom color to be assigned to that node. So let me just double click here and just select an orange as a color for my custom node. So when all of the setup complete, I can just click green tick to start the generation process. Progress dialog is displayed, allowing me to track my progress. So it shows me the start time, duration, total items, what items I succeeded, what failed, and so on and so forth. And I can track this in real time. So you can see here I have also a journal. So let me just finish uh, until the process complete and I can just review my results. I can also cancel the operation at any time if I want to stop my export process. So you can see my job has been complete. There are 12 items processed. I can hover my mouse to see more details about the source of the file and output. I can click on the file, which will bring me to the result file in Windows File Explorer. So let me just close that progress dialog and just quickly review a couple of items which were generated. So I can use SOLIDWORKS e-drawings to open those files and preview them. So let me just double click on here. So you can see here is my flat pattern and the node added in the middle of that drawing. So here's another one. And you can see that naming follows the template which we have specified. So there is another one in the subfolder 2 which indicates that this sheet metal has a thickness of 2. Thank you for watching this video.